everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today is The Night Before Christmas. Just like the storybook, The Night Before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Well, who the heck said there was no mouse stirring? There was a mouse, and Santa knew that mouse's name. They said not a creature was stirring on that well-known Christmas Eve, but one little mouse scurried through the house, a little white mouse called Steve. His eyes like two buttons were shining and he just couldn't not believe the way Santa came and knew him by name, that little white mouse called Steve. Now there were dollies and bugles. Santa Claus filled each sock. Then Steve scurried all about and scampered out in and out and then he ran up the clock. At last, dear old Santa was packing and he flung his bag to leave, then off like a breeze, leaving one piece of cheese for that little white mouse called Steve. So if they think there was nobody scurrying on that night before Christmas when all through the house, there was a mouse and its name is Steve, and it's a white mouse. I don't know if I had, we had a cat a long time ago, talk about white mice, this brought to mind. A long time ago, we had two mama cats, and they both had kittens. One mama cat liked to teach to hunt, and one mama cat was a mothering cat. In fact, the mama cat that was a mothering cat, she nursed all of the babies, and the one that let, used to hunt took all of the babies out and was teaching them how to hunt. Well, one day over by the barn that fell down, we don't have that barn anymore, it fell down. The roof collapsed one New Year's Eve and um, the cat was over there and I thought, what is that cat doing? And here it had a white mouse. I don't know where the white mouse came from because we didn't have any, They're usually the white mice would be a pet mouse from somebody. Well, they had a white mouse and that cat was chasing it, pouncing on it, and letting it go. And then it, one of the babies would chase it, pounce on it, and let it go. And then another baby would do the same thing. And so she was teaching them how to pounce, but let it go. Eventually, I think the mouse did have a, an end. I don't know. I didn't see it because... I don't know where the, what, I don't remember the ending of that story. That's a true story, but I don't remember the ending. Then there was also, you know, they always say, um, the kitty in the well, who put the cat, my pussy cat, how's it put go? Put the pussy in the well. Put the pussy in the well. Um, but there's a, the first part of it, I can't think of it. Um, we actually had a cat in the well. We were in the house, and we could hear this meow. And I went in the basement and I could really hear the meow, meow, meow. And I'm thinking, oh, there's no cat in the basement. So we went outside and the closer I got to the barn that fell down, <laughs> there used to be an, a dry well there and there was a bucket on top. Well, one of those kittens jumped into the bucket. The bucket was upside down, but apparently the bottom of it had rusted enough to where... When the cat jumped on it, the bucket broke, and down into the well, the cat went. And my daughter, Jessica, was frantic. Oh, my goodness. She was just, she wanted that kitty out of there. And she was thinking, you know, so, and I had to get her away. Because if she found a dead rabbit, that dead rabbit was her pet. Or if she found anything that was um, of nature, she was taking care of it. She was the nurturing type. So I had to bring her in the house. And I said, let's go in the house, and we'll make a sandwich. And while we... Our, having our lunch, I'll figure out how to get that cat out of the well. Well, I thought about it and thought about it, and I thought, well, we have this great big huge rope in the basement, and so I tied a knot in it and dropped it down. And the cat would get up a little ways, he'd put his little claws into the rope, and we'd get up a little ways, and then it would jump off or fall off. So I thought, well, maybe if I tie a sock to that knot on that rope, Maybe the cat will hang on. So I tied a sock onto the, onto the rope and dropped it down into the well. It was a dry well. And um, 
the cat got on it and as I'm pulling and I'm like 12 inches from the top and, I, and everybody's telling the cat, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, the cat hung on and we got it out of the well. So the pussy cat in the well had a happy ending. It didn't, it didn't die in the well, but it could have. And so then we put a, a good bucket over top of that so that none of the other cat, and a rock on top of that so that the cats couldn't fall into the well again. So that was our exciting pussy in the well. <laughs> Kitty Long in the well. Long time ago. Long time ago. The kids were, gosh, Jessica was probably four or five. And she was little. She was little. And Michael was, they weren't even going to school yet. And Michael was little. So it must have been, she must have been three and he must have been four. And they're now, how old are you now? Michael. Hello. <laughs> how old are you? He's got ear how things old are on. You now? 39? He's 39. Yep. And um, he'll be, his, he'll he be, will be 40 in March. March next yeah. March. Or will he be 39 next March? We'll be married 40 years. 39. He'll yeah, be 39. He'll be 39. He'll be 39. You're 38. Don't you remember how old you are? Oh, good grief. I, I would have to figure. I don't remember how old I am. Either, I know. So. Well, that's okay. I forgot how old you were. Age but now I remember. I know, but you're supposed to know that number. Otherwise, you miss out on certain things. When when my father, this brings to mind my father. <laughs> oh gosh, this is going everywhere. Well, I hope you're having a great day because this is story time. Um, my father was born in Sicily, in Marianopoli, Sicily, is where he was born. And because he was born so close to midnight, by the time everybody got the news that he was born, it was the 10th of February. So we were celebrating my dad's birthday on the 10th of February because that's when we thought his birthday was. Well, when he went to go retire, he needed his birth certificate. And in order to get his birth certificate, he had to, we had to write to Italy or wherever, somewhere, for, to, to get his birth certificate. When that came, we found out he was really born on the 9th of February. So from age 62 to 93, my dad had two birthdays. We would celebrate his American birthday, which was um, the 10th, and then we'd celebrate his Italian or Sicilian birthday, which was the 9th of February. So my dad had two birthday parties. And when we would put the candles on, I have a picture of him with a bunch of kids from the from um, the daycare, and my own kid. I think it was the daycare kids. Our kids were there too. Yeah, and um, we had a cake, and it had I think eighty five candles on it. We put eighty five candles. This thing, we had to hurry up and blow it out because it would melt the frosting. Well, he used to blow it in one puff. And it was always amazing. And that was, I think, the, the fun of his birthdays is he would do it in one puff, one breath, one, and everything would be gone. And so on his birthday, we would put the number of candles that he was, and he lived to 93. Can you imagine 93 candles lighting that? You, got, you had to hurry up because the first batch that you were lighting was really melting down, and so there would be three of us lighting the candles lighting the candles and make sure you work from the middle to the outside otherwise you can't get the middle candles because we were using just a small little lighter we didn't have the big long extended lighters that they use on candles we should no, have had that we should have no. had one of those but we didn't or we had a match or we took up a candle and used a candle to help light the other candles so in the meantime that candles dripping frost dripping wax on your cake so before you could eat the cake and you got all the candles out you had to use a, a little knife to pick up the wax that had dripped onto the cake so that's the stories of that so I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and I will talk to you all again tomorrow on Christmas oh my tree whoops I forgot I you know I would tell you all I forgot I even put it there I have mentioned in um, some of my comments, I don't know if I've ever said it on the video, but I, I have a tree that I leave decorated all year long in case I don't want to put up the big tree. And so um, this is the tree.
that I have. And this tree has all of my kids' ornaments on it, is what it has. I, let me see if I, I turn it that way a little. There we go. And on this tree, on this tree, I'll come over here. I don't know, hopefully you can hear me. There is a bell. I don't know where that bell is. Got to find it. Because, you know, if you watch that movie, whatever the movie, where's the bell? I hear it. Oh, um, it's a good life. It's a good life, yeah. They say, if you hear a bell ring, an angel got its wings. Oh, here it is. Okay. Whoa. There's another ornament that fell off. This is the bell that I use. Isn't it cute? And the kids would ring this bell. And I said, oh, an angel got its wings. So anytime you hear this bell, an angel got its wings, is what happened. So if you want to, you can ring my bell too. <laughs> ring my bell. There's a song. Ring. Oh, I don't even know how that one goes, but you can't sing it probably. I don't know. But this is what we, we hang on the tree. And, but this is all of my, my kid stuff. And this is my, whoops. This is my ornament. My mother made ornaments for all of us with our name on it. And this one says, Mary Grace on it. This is old and it's plastic. They were plastic. They weren't, they weren't the breakable kind. We did have a lot of breakable ones and there's a lot of broken ones. But yeah, anything that my kids made in school or made, I put it on here. Like here's Jessica when she was a little Here's, here's one little child. She's now 37. <laughs> She's a little bit old. 37. She's not old. She's young. Yeah, she's not really. But she is. Here's Michael. He's 20 or 38. Here's Emily. She's 29. She's 29. Here's Laura. She was She's 30, same age as you, 37, 39. No, 30, 31. Oh gosh, they're getting too old. They're getting old. Old, old, old. But, anyways, Maybe he didn't even know how 32. old he was. He's probably kindergarten here. <laughs> Laura's so, probably they're all kindergarten, I think. That's it. I will, I will say goodbye first. Okay. Now we've seen my tree that I keep decorated all year. I keep it in the bathroom up in my daycare because nobody uses that bathroom usually. And I have another little tree in there, a little tabletop tree, a little tiny tree. And that one's decorated too because the kids like to see my trees. So I'll t you have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.